Are you ready to laugh in the face of financial emergencies? Because that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Let's talk about emergency funds. You know, that rainy day savings account that you're supposed to have in case of unexpected expenses or job loss. But let's be real. Most of us have emergency fund plans that are as effective as a screen door on a submarine. Today, we're going to talk about why your emergency fund plan sucks and how to build an emergency fund that will make you feel like a financial superhero. First things first, let's talk about the most obvious mistake people make. Not having an emergency fund at all. I mean, how are you supposed to protect yourself from unexpected expenses if you don't even have a savings account? It's like trying to put out a fire with a bucket of ice cream. It's just not gonna work. An emergency fund is like a safety net for your finances. It's there to catch you when you fall so you don't end up in a pile of debt. And trust me, you don't want to be in debt. It's like being stuck in a never-ending game of financial whack-a-mole. But one of the biggest mistakes people make is having an emergency fund that's too small. I mean, you can't expect to survive on ramen noodles and tap water for six months if you lose your job. An emergency fund should have enough money to cover at least three to six months of living expenses. That's like having a life jacket in case of a financial shipwreck. The third mistake people make is keeping the emergency fund in a low yielding savings account. I mean, you're not going to get rich off of 0.01% interest, are you? An emergency fund should be in a safe and easily accessible place, but it should also be earning a decent interest rate, like a piggy bank that grows money instead of collecting dust. The fourth mistake is people making use of the emergency fund for non-emergency expenses. I mean, an emergency fund is not a slush fund for your shopping addiction. It's only for unexpected expenses, like medical bills or car repairs. Using it for anything else is like using your fire extinguisher to put out the candle. It's just not necessary. Which brings me to the mistake a lot of people make, which is not reviewing or updating the emergency fund. I mean, you can't just set it and forget it. An emergency fund should be reviewed and updated regularly to ensure it remains adequate. It's like taking care of a plant. You can't just water it once and expect it to survive forever. Now that we've gone over the mistakes to avoid, let's talk about how to build an effective emergency fund. The first step is setting a savings goal. Determine how much money you need to have saved to cover at least three to six months of living expenses. This may seem like a daunting task, but it's important to remember that you don't have to save all of this money overnight. Take it one step at a time. Don't try to run before you can walk, unless you're saving up for a treadmill, of course. Once you have a goal in mind, it's time to create a budget. This will help you determine how much money you can realistically save each month. And don't forget to include a small buffer for unexpected expenses, like your coffee addiction or spontaneous shopping sprees. Remember, it's important to be realistic about what you can save each month, so don't set a goal that is impossible to reach. Instead, start small and gradually increase your savings over time. Another tip is to set up automatic transfers to your emergency fund account. This way, you don't have to remember to transfer the money yourself and it will make it easier to reach your savings goal. And lastly, try to find ways to increase your income, whether it's through a side hustle or asking for a raise at work. The more money you have coming in, the more you can save for your emergency fund. Just don't go asking your boss for a raise in a pandemic. The next step is to choose the right savings account. Look for a high yield savings account that offers a good interest rate. This will help your money grow faster and make sure the account is easily accessible in case of an emergency. And don't forget to automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your emergency fund. This will help you save without even thinking about it. And once your emergency fund is set up, make sure to review and update it regularly. This will ensure that your savings are adequate in case of an emergency. And there you have it folks, the secret to building an effective emergency fund. Remember, an emergency fund is like a financial superhero, protecting you from unexpected expenses and job loss. But remember, this is just the beginning. There's so much more to learn about personal finance and how to protect yourself from unexpected expenses and job loss. And we're here to help. So don't let your emergency fund plan suck. 
Make sure you have a solid plan in place and start saving today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on personal finance and stay financially savvy. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so they too can learn how to build an effective emergency fund. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.